All right, everyone. <coughs> Welcome to Let's Play Lagoon on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or you know, whatever Super Nintendo SNES SNESy. Uh, this is an action RPG. You know, in the vein of maybe. Oh, gotta erase my game. Oh, this old guy. Um, this is an action RPG in the vein of maybe Zelda, you know, Legend of Zelda, maybe, you know, Illusion of Gaia is kind of similar. As far as quality goes, this game is, uh, I, mean, I don't want to say it's, it's worse quality, but it kind of is. But the reason I'm doing this game is because, you know, when I was a kid, I didn't have a lot of video games, uh, well, <laughs> at least the video games I did have were, you know, I didn't read Nintendo Power, I didn't read, I didn't watch commercials, I didn't talk to my friends to see what kind of games were, like, super popular or whatever. I just kind of let my dad buy whatever games he wanted to, based on the cover, like the cartridge art, like the box art. This game has a really cool box art. Um, well, let me go get the cartridge real quick. Oh, that was loud. Anyway, it has a cool castle with some gigantic waves crashing into it. I don't know, I'll probably just put it in the video right here, if I can. Anyway, uh, so my dad bought this game. I think it's really cool. It's almost exactly like a game for, I want to say Turbo Graphics 16, called Legacy of Wise or Legacy of East. I mean, I don't know why I called it Legacy of Wise. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it. Oh, this music's pretty good. That intro music is incredible. I fucking love that intro. That's why I didn't talk over it. Um, but. I don't know, that game, Legacy of East, looks exactly like, not looks exactly like this game, but plays exactly like this game. I mean, this game has a few uh, different mechanics, like, as far as, you know, they have magic spells, and, uh, man, they're, but they're really similar. It's, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to be voicing these characters. But I really like that game too, The Legacy of East. Um, so we go to the mayor's house. It just kind of drops you off in this town, Atland. And says, you know, you're the champion of light. The water is muddy. Do something about it. So you walk around, talk to people, talk to the cleric. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, he's right here. Hey, Nasir. Now that name, uh, I think this game came out in 99, uh, <laughs> god damn, 1991. Um, I don't know if it was like a launch title for the Super Nintendo, but, uh, you know, it came out the same year that I got a Super Nintendo. Not me, but my family, I guess. Uh, so... That name, Nasir, if you watch the intro of the game Secret of Mana, there's a, like a, a splash uh, on the title screen, like a little a little marquee or like, tie, like you know, subtitle that says, uh, it says programmed by Nasir, and that's the only other place you've ever seen that name. Um, and I, I don't know, like, you know, it's not a very common name. In this game, like, that game, uh, Secret of Mana came out after this one. And I don't know if that guy, Nasir, did anything before this one that would inspire the character's name to be Nasir. Whatever. I don't know. If that's, like, a common name in Japan or whatever. I'm just kind of connecting the dots. So anyway, we talk to the mayor. Uh, and they're discussing that the water's muddy, and like, 
If you read that, you think, oh yeah, the, well the water's muddy, no big deal. Um, I'm pretty sure like that's just like weird translation because it's actually a lot more severe than that. Like later in the game, you hear like, oh uh, hold on, this music's pretty intense. I won't talk over. Well, I will talk over this, but I'll change the subject for a while. And he says, "There's a problem." <laughs> this my, this is one of my favorite responses. If someone ever barges in and just really upset about something, <laughs> you're so noisy. Like, what a great thing to say. The man who just came out of the cave, pant pant, was hurt badly, pant pant. Anyway, come right away. So we're flashed to the entrance of the cave, where we find uh, this dude on the ground. <laughs> he looks really funny to me. It looks like a baby, or like some kind of weird voodoo doll. The demons are in the c cave. Guiles is in the cave. We must hurry and rescue him. Cough! Okay, so this guy fell out of the cave. Out of this cave. There are demons in there. It's dangerous. So, like, if they don't let me go in without any weapons, why do they let these guys go in? I don't understand. What a tragedy. Giles is in there. Let me handle this. I'll go tell the cleric. Yeah, that guy did. I guess to let me know about the situation that's occurring right in front of me. Like, oh, a man just fell out of the thing. Like, I know I'm here too. This lady. The mayor seems to be worried about something. Yeah. You're out of the loop, lady. So he tells me to go tell the church, or the cleric, church guy, about Giles. I don't really know who Giles is, like, he's just a dude who lives in this town, I think. Okay, he wants me to rescue Giles, but first we have to go discuss it with the mayor. There's a lot of running around before you actually get into any of the combat, but, you know, it's not a bad thing. Considering the combat's not exactly the most compelling part of the game, like, at least this early in the game, the combat's pretty rotten. Not very good. <laughs> Just wait a second. This is like Mr. Rogers. Uh, talking about Giles, I'm the champion of light. I'm the only one who can get into the cave, even though Giles is in there already. Put these on and get ready to go, and he gives you 300 gold. It's probably just some like weird translation error. Alright, so by prepare yourself, he means just go by. Uh, cool dog. Wow, wow. Uh, he means go buy some like armor, buy some weapons, buy a shield, or buy a weapon and a shield. And here's the weapon store. This guy's a. He looks really cool. He, uh. Has a really awesome mustache. Basically, you just buy all this stuff and leave. I like that shop music, by the way. Uh, go to the equip sub screen, equip all this stuff. Oh man, who's this guy? No, I won't save. Him. So anyway, our task is to go rescue Giles, who's in the cave. Like, it's, it's, you know, I kind of wish they'd give you more deposit, uh, exposition, not deposition, sorry. Uh, exposition, like, you know, you're just in this town, you just kind of live here, dude Giles is in the cave. The story's not exactly compelling, this game at least, is, uh, Alright, now we get into the combat. And people really dislike. Here, I'll show you. You can walk into them. If you don't swing your sword, then your shield yeah, will defend you. Oh god. <laughs> that was really stupid. I'm gonna save. Uh, so the sword. Here, I'll just show it. That's the length of the sword. That's what you're dealing with. That right there. It's terrible. And people don't like that at all. I guess I can understand that, but uh... You know, when I was a kid I didn't mind that. 
And this guy is really annoying. I almost just died again. Just because, like, you know, fighting the blue guy is not that bad. The gray, like, I think this is like a, some kind of demon. I don't know. Demons are in the cave. This is a demon. Whew. So the demon just walks around with, like, you know, random... He doesn't, you know, most enemies just walk towards you, so it makes it easy to just bounce him off with your sword. But this guy's a just total, just random ass pattern to his movement, and it's really annoying. See, I'll show you here. These guys will mostly just walk into you. So it makes it, you know, somewhat easier to fight them. And I'm probably gonna cut out most of the combat. There's a fair amount of grinding in this game. I, I refuse to show that on camera, because that's just boring. Boring for me, boring for you. So, uh, oh god, there's this part. Or maybe I'll just speed it up, because I know that, like, oh, jeez. Yeah, the first level is just treacherous, man. Treacherous? I don't know if that's the right word. But you can just, you make one bad step and you get pinned up against the wall for like half a second and you'll die. So it's a good idea to save often in this game. Regardless of what level you are. There, I gained a level. You can tell because my uh, MP meter, or M not meter, but it's like a counter in the bottom right hand of the screen, uh, went up from 3 to 8. And my health bar slightly increased as well. And what a like, leveling up entails, you, you know, here, I'll go to pause menu. Uh, your HP goes up, MP, defense and strength go up too. And there's a little XP. The gold, you get gold from fighting monsters, XP from fighting monsters. It's pretty, you know, it's, it's, it's a cookie cutter RPG, really. It's just, you know, the reason I like it so much is mostly just because, uh, you know, there's a lot of sentimental value. Like, I used to play this game with my dad. And, uh, you know, just back in the good old days, it's, uh, it's like, you know, these days I got so much shit to worry about. I mean, I'm not, like, you know, I'm not complaining. Life is okay. Life is good. But, uh, like, when you're a kid, man, there's just nothing better than sitting down, you know, and I don't get to experience this anymore, but, you know, I used to sit down and play these video games, like, the Super Nintendo games with my family and like most importantly my dad because he was the big gamer in the household so like you know just no nothing better to me than you know just I whenever I'm stressed out or you know, I don't feel like worrying about anything for a while I just sit down and play some Super Nintendo it just takes me back to a more innocent you know carefree time And I really, you know, I think we could all use a little more of that. Oh, God, my voice is <coughs> going. Sorry. That's probably loud as hell. So I'll explore this dungeon. Um, I mean, I'm probably going to have to stop the video in a minute here. Or, uh, hmm. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to end a video. Uh, so I guess... I'll just beat this guy. If I can. Alright. So, uh. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. If you enjoy, keep on watching. And, uh. Thanks. <laughs>